Hey y'all, welcome to DG Outdoors. It's November 8th. Now, I've been waiting all day to make this video for you guys, and I mean all day, mostly because I had to work, but I am super excited. Thanksgiving is 20 days away, and what's the one thing about Thanksgiving? Turkey. So I have a special DG Outdoors edition to uh, do to test my skills and abilities at um, shooting my bow. Yes, I'll be shooting my bow in my backyard again. I do that a lot. Um, I live here in town, so I can either shoot my air rifles in my backyard or my bow. Well, let's pause this camera, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do and why it's going to be almost near impossible for me. So stay tuned. All right, guys, let me put my glove back on. It's awful cold. So Thanksgiving, what's Thanksgiving mean? Well, it means turkey time, and I've got a turkey target right here. Now, I've seen guys shoot turkeys with a bow. Um, in the head and that's extremely hard to do and normally you want to do body shots on a turkey But I found these on eBay and they were really cheap. So I figured I'd shoot at it But I want to let you guys know I'll be shooting at this uh, This turkey At 20 yards and I have to hit it in the head and I'm not talking about this is going to be an easy shot because I'm going to take out a tape measure and show you guys how big this turkey head is and we're gonna have some fun and this is thanksgiving dg outdoor style so let me get my uh tape measure out here and we'll uh we'll show you all right guys so like i said i'm gonna tape measure this thing here and i don't know how well you guys will be able to see it but i'll get you as close as i can so I'm going to be shooting from about, let's say, 24 yards. But the head of this turkey, where the white line is, that is two inches wide. And I have to hit that from 20 yards. The whole turkey head here, which is, this is a pretty realistic turkey head, is about, give or take, two and a half inch, just over two and a half inches here. Maybe two and a quarter. The whole head itself... Uh, from here down is let's start from here is about seven inches wide so I have to be able to hit the target with my Chinese made arrows which are not matched the feathers are not all put on the same the spine weight might be too low which means that the arrow is not going to uh, fly exactly straight at longer distances so i'm gonna have some fun doing some turkey games here for my thanksgiving special and i hope y'all stick around for it we're gonna do some good shooting coming up all right guys so i got all my arrows here and i just ranged find the uh the target let me put my glove back on here because it's cold. I am 20 yards away from the target. And uh, you guys can barely see that target. Bow hunting turkeys is probably one of the hardest ways to hunt turkeys. Turkeys have excellent eyesight. They see movement very well. And they will run if a tree stump looks scary. They are very skittish. One of the hardest shots to take on a turkey is to hit it in the head. And right now that's the only kind of turkey target I have. So we're gonna try it. I'll probably epically fail at this, but it's fun. So I hope you all stick around and watch me shoot my bow and have fun. I love to do this. Practice makes perfect. I've done a lot of bow shooting videos, but I really enjoy it. I took my uh, arrow quiver off because I'm going deer hunting tomorrow and that's got all my hunting arrows in it. And I didn't feel like taking them all out because they have all my broadheads on them. So uh, let's get started with this um, about sight pins. So I'm going to use this arrow to kind of demonstrate. Well, I hope so. All right. Demonstrate the uh, sight pins. The top one is 10 yards. That's the green one. The second one is 15. The other green one's 20. And then the bottom's 25. So I have to use my third pin. And hopefully I can hit the uh, the turkey in the head. We'll see. So I just ranged it with my rangefinder. It's about 20 yards right here, but I gotta 
stay up a little bit so you guys can see me in the camera. Um, these arrows never fly good at long distances. Hopefully I don't break any. If I do, oh well, I can go buy more on eBay. But this is going to be really fun. Let's do it. And I don't normally wear gloves whenever I shoot either. So... I have no idea where that arrow went, but I did hit the target. I know that much. But I don't know if I hit the turkey. I may have shot real low. Well, we're going to find out. And this is pretty fun. I got the sniffles, y'all. It's 35 degrees out. I'm shooting way to the left. And it may just be these arrows. So I'm going to try to aim over a little bit. Get off of there, Leaf. These arrows fly horribly. But that's why I shoot them in my backyard in case I break them, mate. I'm not going to worry that much. No idea where that one went. I can't see him very well. I'm really having to look at the little little dot at the end. There's little dots in here, okay? And then little dots on the end show where your arrow's going. Shut up. You guys are annoying. Twenty twenty five yards is the farthest I'll shoot my uh, my bow. Normally because that's as far as my back fence is. Will you guys be quiet and go somewhere bug somebody else? Please. Shut up. Them dogs are no neighbors got a rottweiler. Go away. Please. I have no idea where I'm hitting this target. I'm shooting a two and a half inch target at 20 yards. And I'm probably not going to hit it once. If I do, that'll be a miracle. But these are the uh, the Moosin 500 spine arrow, rated from 45, I mean 35 to 50, 60 pounds. And that's when I talk about spine strength on the arrow. They're under spine; they're not going to fly all that right. And I only paid twelve dollars for a pack of six of these arrows, so I'm not really concerned about it. I was afraid they were going to break, but none of them broke on me as long as I hit the target. Okay, it's just really cold out here. So. Oh, man. This is a very long shot for me. And I have no idea... Ow, where they're going. Hope I don't get a Charlie horse, man. That hurt. So, uh, let's go check out these, uh, turkey targets here that turkey target and uh we'll see how i did i'm gonna surprise myself i guarantee it all right y'all i'm back um 
So I'm pretty shocked that uh, one arrow would have actually killed the turkey. I almost hit it on these two and everything else was everywhere else. But I mean, I nailed a two inch target at 20 yards, okay? I nailed it. Um, I really don't want my Thanksgiving special to be over. I just filmed a 10 minute video, but uh, it's pretty dang cold out here and I've been wanting to do this the whole time. And if I get my better arrows out, which I say for hunting, I'll probably do even better than that. But I was shocked that I even hit the dang thing, you know. I drilled it. You're supposed to hit it up here in the head right here, but I mean, I hit it in the neck, and as long as you hit it in the head from here up, you should be okay. But, um, I hope, I want to thank you all for joining me, and, uh, happy Thanksgiving early. Um, and I hope to see you guys on my deer hunt tomorrow. Thanks for joining me.